so we just finished off watching Iron Sky. Iron Sky. Iron Which Sky came out 2012, 2012. and uh, it was made by a Finnish director. Uh, yeah, like Tino. Uh, something or Can't pronounce his <laughs> name. Can't pronounce his name. Um, and this was his second film. Uh, his first film was uh, Star Wreck, uh, The Beginning. Mm. Right. And uh, it's what? basically a, a, a Star Trek film that he made uh, with a group of friends yeah. and the special effects in the film were as good as the Star Trek movies. Uh, they were really exceptional and it was, wow, people, you know, homemade people are making special effects in their basement that are rivaling multi-million dollar movies. Yeah. And so this was his sort of his uh, launch card, basically. Yeah. And he had the idea for, uh, or saw a friend of his had a dream about Nazis attacking and flying saucers from the Nazis moon. Nazis so on the moon. <laughs> they had this idea, and so he put some uh, some ideas out there and got some fan uh, funding, yeah. which eventually went towards making Iron Sky, which uh, is a strange movie, I feel. <laughs> it's a very strange movie. Well, the CGI is absolutely outstanding oh. on it. It's amazing, the CGI. Yeah. I can't believe it's made by... Sort of a small production team like that because, like you say, it's better than these multi million yeah. dollar. It was a 7.5 million euros. What? Uh, so it's, it, it's euros as well. It's a tiny budget, and the film looks like it had millions and millions and millions in there. The special effects oh, were top. The special yeah. effects, yeah, but. It's, oh, it's like a Yui Ball film if you had. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, not, not giving too much yeah, away, but. They, they go to the moon, they've got a giant swastika building on the moon. <laughs> Immediately you're like, okay, right? Then you get the then you get the astronauts landing. And so going, well, the, let's just go back. So the idea is that the during World War Two, the end of World War Two, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Nazis have launched into space. Have left Earth and found safe refuge on the dark side, dark of, the moon, side of the moon. And yeah. they've been there for like seventy five years, yeah. getting ready to launch an attack back on Earth well, in the year two thousand eighteen. They were teaching everybody about peace and love. And how funny the dick, the, the, the Fuhrer was. Well, that's the how they <laughs> started, but it was always the plan was to invade England, uh, Earth again. Well, that was yeah. always the military plan. But then yeah. it just turned out to be really lazy, they couldn't power their spaceships, which were <laughs> crazily <laughs> designed. They were I mean, very steampunk design. Steampunk masses. That was cool, <laughs> yeah. And then they had depth, they, they all had moving parts, yeah. uh, there yeah. was a lot of steam. A lot of yeah, a lot of machinery that all moved, and there was a lot of wheels, and mm. I, it was fascinating to look at the sets. Yeah, well, yes, they came definitely. up with the idea of having helium three, which yeah. is on the moon, and that's how they power all the ships. That's how they do everything that they want to do. Effectively, that's how they make the technology, and yeah. they've got like computers that fill rooms. <laughs> oh, this is a massive wood. This yeah. is a computer. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> what is this device? Oh, that's my uh, kick-ass cell phone. And the computer. <laughs> that is not a computer. This is a computer. <laughs> but that, you know, going going back to the story. So the astronauts land on the moon in for Sarah Palin, I think she was supposed to be. You know, <laughs> well, it was a, a rip, wasn't it? Get her so, second yeah. term. America has a female president. It was your bright idea to send those idiots to the moon. Talk about disaster. Um, not to be the contrarian, Madam President, but I'm pretty sure it was your idea. It was my great idea had they succeeded. Now it's your stupid idea, got it? I didn't hire you for your stupid ideas. I hired you because of your modest touch. And now my approval ratings are in the toilet and the election is just weak. The white astronaut is killed. <laughs> and, well, spoilers, but... The black astronaut is captured, and it just <laughs> throws up a stir of shit on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like, oh my god, a black man. <laughs> on the moon. On the moon. <laughs> Hertha, soll das sein? Ein Witz sein? Oh, the Nazis completely unprepared for this. Uh, it just it just throws the film into a curve. They get this little iPhone, and it powers <laughs> all their machinery. And then they want to go to the Earth, and they want to conquer it. 
but it takes three months. <laughs> he decided, like, okay, so. Well, no, it, for three months. They had the phone which ran out of battery, so they yeah. needed new technology, and they sent a force down to Earth to get this uh, new technology. A force that got but, attacked as soon as they landed by a woman who had a weed farm. <laughs> 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 You smell that? Get the hell out of my property! You better get out of here. <laughs> <Red Bull>. <laughs> <laughs> they then walk the streets in full-blown Nazi gear and you're like... And they oh come God. across, you know, the uh, the brothers playing the, the basketball. Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, uh, yeah, the black astronaut. Oh, has James Washington. Gone the guy. through a transformation. Unaware <laughs> at this moment in time of his uh, current um, orientation. Yeah, the, the main story. Uh, well, I can't remember their names, but James Washington, the black astronaut who is turned white. He's the hero of the film. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah if, he gets turned white. <laughs> like albinism or something. Yeah. yeah. It's just inject. It's like. <laughs> Well, it was part of the Nazi plan to, to actually be able to turn people into Nazis. Yeah. And so they will, you know, they'll hile and, and follow orders. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. It's just a, uh, that all comes down to that. It's a bit cliched, but it's the uh, Einstein kind of mad scientist that they have. Yeah. It kind of works. It works uh, in the film quite The well. whole film is very cliched. Well, it, it, it borrows a lot and it parodies yeah, and it satires definitely. so I much. I felt shocked the strange parody. love in this film. I saw bits of Jaws in this film. I mean. There's bits of everything there's, in there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a giant parody. It's like Hot Shots or uh, well, Spaceballs or but something very like dramatic as well. I, 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 I really, really just wanted to laugh all the way through, but I was just like, this is so serious. Yes. They're actually taking it very seriously. I felt the first half was just so serious. And yeah. then as soon as it starts getting into the space and space battles, that's when <laughs> it, we were laughing out loud. It was outfit. hilarious. It was just like, <laughs> yeah. fire nukes at everything. You're like, oh. What's she doing? <laughs> you know, the fight in the UN war room. Well, the, the gathering. They're all just picking on North Korea. <laughs> I swear, we do not have nothing on the moon. I confess. Yes, North Korea. Confess to what? The spaceships are ours. Our beloved leader designed and built them himself. <laughs> What is so <laughs> Sorry, North Korea, if you're watching, but <laughs> well, that's the the thing that the filmmakers kind of uh, play with all the different countries. They yeah. kind of take on all of their um, uh, symbolism and all of their tropes, like uh, the Australians when they turn up, or you know, <laughs> when all the different ships, all their satellites, Mere have their own station. nationalities. Like the Mir space station was supposed to have been destroyed. Yeah, the Russians have been there, <laughs> and the big secret is that they've all secretly armed their uh, their <laughs> space satellites. This is a direct violation of this nation's free single one of you. We are joining the battle. That was supposed to be destroyed. This is an outrage. You're all liars, just like my ex ex husband. <laughs> Calm down, lady, calm down. Don't you lady me, Pinko. <laughs> it, was <laughs> it was so brilliantly done. Oh, it was just... I, that's, that's, that's what confused me about this whole film. I, I got into it, I thought it was going to be funny, then it got dramatic, then it got funny again, then it was dramatic and funny. Then there was that massive sex scene on the floor. <laughs> Well, it was Whoa. massive. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it built was... up, and then all of a sudden you see that guy sat in the seat, and you're like... They're invading with meteors. Yeah. Towing. Meteor Blitzkrieg. <laughs> Try not to spoil it, but my that mind is, so is just cool. racing from all the, vis the oh, visions just, themselves. It, it does feel film. like it's a fan-funded film because it's got so many like cool ideas. But yeah. it just went, 
What's, what's cool that we could put into <laughs> me or Blitzkrieg? <laughs> the well, I know. Zeppelins in space. Zeppelins in space. <laughs> it was amazing. You got Zeppelins fighting, you know, kind of Star Wars fighter craft, yeah. and then you've got sort of kind of Enterprise type ships. What was it? The USS uh, Bush. Oh, <laughs> the USS George, George Bush. W. Bush. <laughs> Have a little something up our own sleeve, and I'm sure y'all be thankful for it. May I present you with tomorrow's exploration ship. The USS George W. Bush. I mean, I was watching it, and all I could think was Independence Day. This this film should have got a massive release. I saw one trailer when it came out on TV, yeah. and I was like, "What's that?" It got and then it was gone. Yeah. It just disappeared. And the, yeah, the the like I said, the, uh, the most of the reviews out there are pretty uh, average for the film. Yeah, what do they see in this film? Is just so funny and well, so dramatic. They and... they most people would say that it's be, what you were saying just now is that tonally, yeah. the film shifts quite dramatically from being very slapstick comedy, like yeah. when the uh, when the the, the astronaut. And uh, what she called the uh, the teacher woman. Yeah, uh, get yeah. blown out the airlock, and it strips her down to her underwear, and she just climbs <laughs> back in. And it's you know it's so silly, it's slapstick. Yeah. And then you know a few moments later, there's you know some ver very serious um, uh, it's acting. acting. Yeah. But I wouldn't say it's, the acting was all that convincing. But the scenes that they were in were were very serious and had yeah. a lot of consequences. So tonally, the film. You know, it didn't know whether it want, whether you wanted to take it seriously or whether you should laugh all the way through it. Well, it's so, Nazis, isn't it? Uh, it has some very Nazis, serious points. You, and you, you think the Holocaust it, and it's really bad. That's it. It <laughs> had so many nods back children. to the Nazis and to to the Holocaust and to all yeah. the crappy thing that they did. And, and these Nazis no on the moon didn't know. They'd been taught that. Well, it's the first half of the dictator, or the yeah. first ten minutes that they thought was a short film, which is actually <laughs> taking a piss out of Hitler. Yeah. And that's what they knew, and it was it was kind of they were innocent, they were naive, yeah. they didn't know what they were doing, and at the same time, it's like the Nazis. Now scum of the moon. <laughs> it's it's, it's crazy. Fast. It's such a crazy thing. It's crazy, <laughs> but it's it's very B movie yes. It's got, yeah. Quite enough acting, not great lines, but CGI is outstanding. The Some of the lines. Comedy they're... is, at points, it's outstanding. <laughs> Sometimes it falls a bit flat, but most of the time it is pretty hilarious. Mm. And, oh, yeah. yeah. So, what, you, what, what was your uh, favourite scene from the film? Uh, <laughs> hmm. It was probably the start of the space battle, where the, um, they come in with the Flight of the Valkyries playing. Yeah. <laughs> <synthesizer>, <laughs> Or the very last scene, uh, or one of the last scenes where um, they're fighting in the uh, in the UN building. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. That was that was yeah. pretty hilarious as well. <laughs> favorite scene? Uh, I think my favorite scene is um, one of the uh, parrot. Uh, one of the uh, it's the scene where the they've just landed. Yeah. And they're doing a demonstration for the president about why they're here and what their plan is for Earth. Yeah. And it kind of uh, transitions into the, the president actually giving the speech and just watching the American president giving a Nazi propaganda a Nazi speech, propaganda <laughs> <that> getting <laughs> elected, yeah. and then getting excited for the potential to uh, lead a war and not have to bomb Australia or some <laughs> other country. It's, it's so... so it, Pokes fun. It's spot uh, on, though. It really it's is. Spot on. So I loved all of those scenes. I think they were they're all they're very cringe worthy. Yeah. Uh, but they're absolutely hilarious. I think yeah, that was my favorite scene. See, uh, there were just so many in the film for me. The visuals, the I want to say the scene towards the end, but I don't want to spoil it with the uh, redesigning, shall we say, <laughs> of a certain planetoid, but. <laughs> If we're just gonna, if we're just gonna totally bring it down the the where she comes across Washington in the street and he's holding the sign about moon <laughs> Nazis. <laughs> Oh, 
you not to listen to this, right? Because the Nazis are coming. They coming. They're coming to get us all. Why aren't you guys listening to me? I mean... Renata. Washington, James Washington. Look, I got one. This is the bitch that made me white as a fucking snowflake. Come on, people, help me. That is <laughs> and they're like, they're hugging each other, and just as you think they're gonna, you know, become friends, he picks her up and he's just like, I've got one! I've got one! They just start <laughs> fighting me. in the middle of the street. I'm looking at all the people in the background, and I'm like, oh, yeah, man, that, that, The scene in the police station where he's reading their statements <laughs> back to them, and he's like, so you were a black astronaut that was a model that went to the moon, met the Nazis, and you <laughs> died, and then now you're a white hobo. <laughs> white hobo. Yes. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> I was <laughs> listening. <laughs> so, would you recommend the film, John? Uh, yes, I would highly recommend this film. It is hilarious. Yeah. And, yeah. and I think everyone could get something out of it. As long as you don't take it too seriously. Just go with really, it. Really, really good. Like, the CGI, especially, is just outstanding for what yeah. it is. Well, I, I recommend it as well. Yeah. It's a very charming film. There's a lot of humour. It's yeah. a very funny film. As if you like dark comedy. Yeah. I think the film could have gone a little bit further with the dark humour and maybe pulled back on some of the the tension and yeah. some of the drama a little bit because it was a bit wishy-washy in places. But as a whole, the whole film visually is a feast for the eyes. <laughs> the special effects, the sets, the atmosphere. It's just one brilliant set piece after yeah. another. Absolutely loved it. I I definitely recommend it. You know, you if somebody hands you Iron Sky, sit, watch it, flow all the way through, and just giggle. Just <laughs> just giggle. If, if you're not gonna laugh, you're gonna, definitely gonna giggle. I mean, the byline is Nazis on the moon. What do what you love about Nazis? Bad Nazi zombies. Oh, no, Nazi zombies. <laughs> Nazis are the core, the core of the earth. Just, oh, just hot shots with Nazis, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree with that. Yeah, that's pretty spot on. <laughs> Sie entwickeln sich wie ganz gewöhnliche Frauen. Aber schau, kein Haar hier, kein Haar hier, wie kleine Mädchen. Und wenn sie Haare haben, dann sehen sie aus wie... Das Bärtchen von unserem großen Führer. <lacht> <lacht>